Tonight, the southbound lanes of Interstate 75 are still closed in Rockcastle County 10 hours after a deadly chain reaction crash. Investigators say that two people, including a Kentucky National Guard member from Knox County, were killed. Officer Don flew over the scene this afternoon. Police say that six commercial vehicles and a car were involved in the crash. As Jordan Valines tells us, this crash has caused problems on other roads, too. The screech of tires and glow of brake lights stretched across miles of Madison County roads Tuesday. It's been bumper to bumper. It's been moving hard at all. It's been crazy. A double fatal crash involving six 18 wheelers and a passenger car shut down I 75 around 1 o'clock. Some drivers involved in the crash told us the accident happened when traffic started to slow because of construction up ahead. We're told a FedEx truck hit the trailer of another truck, starting a chain reaction. Officers uh, quickly determined that one vehicle was uh, fully involved and on fire. State police say the driver of the silver car, 34 year old Jonathan Rourke, was killed when his car was crushed between two trucks. Police shut down all three southbound lanes, leaving I 75 at a standstill for hours. For about two hours, we probably made it. Six miles. Even the alternate routes didn't exactly help ease the traffic headaches. We took US 25 from Richmond to Berea, and in that 10 mile stretch, it took us more than two hours to get from point A to point B. We just want to go home, you know, and, you know, it's just, I'm just tired of sitting in traffic. Maybe detour or just waiting it out. We're not really sure right now. Once night fell, traffic began to pick up little by little, but it was still a slow crawl home for hundreds. In Madison County, Jordan Valines, WKYT. At last check, police telling us they hope to have southbound Interstate 75 reopen in Rockcastle County in the next few hours. Investigators have not released the name of the second person killed in the crash.